Well, as we continue through our travel trailer section, I mean, how about that Heartland Torque fifth wheel, all the all the fifth wheel amenities mm-hmm. in a travel trailer. I mean, you saw them all. Ian is so good at presenting those to <laughs> yeah. us. And, you know, whether you want to change something on the inside, we've got our customer service representative standing by right now. If somebody was to say, Sean, Nellie, Bryce, mm-hmm. I want that unit. What do they got to do, Nellie? All they have to do is text or comment below RV246642. It's that simple. So and easy. you know what we're going to so do? Easy. We're going to go into something pretty unique that we've never done before. We are. We are. We uh, And before we even do that, you got something here. Yeah. Flash, you can- Flash, Flash sale, sale, guys. Flash sale. <laughs> you guys, the next p- the, the, the next 10 people that call in actually get $500 off any RV they purchase during this show. All you have to do is call 877-297-8725. So so simple. A All flash sale. I mean, this is a big deal when you're talking about $500 off of the next 10 people. Mm-hmm. Any rig. Flash sales are huge. Yep. And speaking of huge, we got something really exciting. Yeah. Something that we haven't done before, actually. This is really exciting. This is the RV face-off. It's awesome. Really excited. Do you want to tell me, show her what it is? Well, here's the cool thing. We've taken, we've talked a lot about Cougars, and this is, we're talking top of the line. Beautiful. Yeah. You see, all, see them everywhere. We talk a lot about Montana's. We presented it both to you several times over the last several weeks. We're going to do more. But this face-off is, I mean, which is better? Which one do we really want if we wanted one or the other? And we've got two amazing pros that are going to do this for us. We know Chris, uh, Chris Young, who's our guy, Mm -hmm. and another amazing Chris. So either way, a Chris is actually going to win the (laughs) face-off. Can't lose. And they're going to go toe-to-toe, and we're going to see the pros and cons of both. Which I love that because even with this our model that we have right now, the fifth wheel toy hauler, we went back and forth and back and forth. So it's good to see it all right together right now. Yep. All right, this is the Cougar taking on the Montana toe to toe. The face off begins right now. Chris, take it away. Ultimate RV Show National Tour. This week we are in beautiful sunny Florida, and one of the things we have not had a chance to do yet with the Ultimate RV Show, but I'm excited about doing, we're doing the Chris face off. Chris Young versus Keystone's Chris Stender, my Montana buddy. Now, now we're, we're buds. We go way back like Cadillac. Chris is going to win. Is no, yeah, Chris, no matter what happens, Chris <laughs> is going to win. And you know what? We, we haven't talked about maybe having somebody else from Keystone come down, mm-hmm. but they were so confident in my ability to, to topple you in this versus battle. They were like, you know what? Nah, it's all good. Chris is going to have it. Chris is going to handle it. They should and Chris be concerned. Is they actually should be concerned. <laughs> <laughs> so, but today we're going to go through some comparisons and some contrasts of the Keystone Montana, the Montana High Country, <laughs> and the Cougar Half Ton and Cougar Mid Profile Fifth Wheels. Why? Well, because they're one of the top selling fifth wheels for the last, gosh, 20 plus years when you're talking about all of them combined together. And we have so many people asking questions. With over 80,000 factory fresh units coming this year, Chris and so many people hopping onto the RV lifestyle last year, uh, we wanted to kind of show people what are the differences between the two brands. And I'm glad you're here, by the way. Welcome to Florida. Sure, I live, I live in Florida. I know, it's playing golf and everything, man. Making me jealous. Yeah, I get, you know. Call him, I'm like, hey man, I want to do this thing at the Ultimate RV Show. He's like, wait, hang on. In the background, you hear, oh. <laughs> Thank, thanks, Chris. Now, I really appreciate the, you know, being top of the mind there. But no, it's, we want people to see the differences, the comparisons, and the contrast between mm-hmm. the two. Sure. So that hopefully if they're on the fence about which one to get, there's not going to be a wrong choice regardless of which way you go. It's just there's subtle differences between the brands and subtle differences that'll make you decide which one's going to be better for how you want to RV and what you're going to tow with. So let's start with Montana. What is Montana? What is high country? Well, let's take a look, Chris. Yeah. I know we got two beautiful <clears throat> units here, 2021. And you guys did some nice updates for 2020. We have the Montana High Country. Which Montana High Country has been out of just over 11 years. Mm-hmm. Uh, initially, we, all of our floor plans were under 9,900 pounds, but we've expanded through the years. This is our shortest floor plan at 32 feet, 2 inches. Introduced a couple months ago in Marion, yeah. North Carolina. Yeah, for the Ultimate RV. At only about 10,700 pounds. We also go all the way up to 42 feet and just over 13,000 pounds. What the, who the high country appeals to is the customer that has a three quarter one ton gas or diesel right. that you know can't pull the 14, 15,000 pound fifth wheels. Right. This is ideal for them. There's also customers that just don't want to pull 13, 14,000 pounds. Right. So we introduced this just over 11 years. And what this is, it's a high profile fifth wheel with high profile features, right. but mid profile weights 
mid-profile price point. And between the High Country and the Montana, that's really the only difference. The Shift. difference between the two is standard features. Okay. Montana has additional standard features versus a High Country. We right. call it separation. Okay. We want to keep separation in the products. Right. And okay. you have a wonderful toy hauler too, which was the 383, <coughs> which just in, you know introduced not that long ago. Yeah. And that was based on our 375 front living room we had right. for years. All we did was elevate the bathroom and bedroom, turn the bed north south. We put it on a lift. Right. Be so if you're looking <coughs> for luxury that you would get into Montana mm -hmm. and you want the option of having a toy hauler, maybe you got to pull the golf cart, the Harley, the kayaks. I love how you sure. mentioned the kayaks in it. It's a good option for you. Yeah, absolutely. But speaking of some of those standard <coughs> features, let's see what we got inside the Montana High Yeah, we come on in. We'll on the Moride step above with a gas strut assist. Very nice and easy. Oh, nice. Come on in with your way. six foot six entry door. <laughs> well, it's not a headbanger. Good clearance, wide, tall doors. Oh yeah, the remember seeing this a couple months ago in Marion, yes. North Carolina. You and I love this. One. This is our 32 feet, two inch floor plan. Right. It's a high profile fifth wheel. What is high profile? 13 three, 13 five overall heights, and that is to the top of the second air because right. two air conditioners are standard in the high countries. Right. When you get taller ceilings, okay, overall height, you get taller cabinets. Taller cabinets give you more storage. Right. You can never have too much storage in an RV. Also, your slide rooms are six foot six tall. That's what I'm okay. like about the yeah, Taller that's that's slide cool. rooms gives you bigger windows, bigger windows give you more daylight. Right. Because nobody wants to be claustrophobic when they're RVing. And that cross <clears throat> breeze too. You got you know well bigger exit for security access points mm -hmm. as well as bigger yeah, uh, cross breeze. All of our windows in this unit open except right. for the front windshield which we'll show you in a moment. Right. We want to talk about the quiet cool air conditioning that is standard on the Montana high country. Notice the shroud is not exposed in ceiling. Those are your two air returns. It's 30% quieter than standard RV air conditioner. The biggest complaint customers have is your air conditioner where it's positioned to your TV. Right. It's always loud. You got to turn your TV up and you have to talk over both of them. That's 30% quieter plus you have an electric heat pump built into it. Here in Florida this morning, it's 60 degrees this morning. Chilly for me, but not most. Right. Yeah, not, yeah, not Hit the great. electric heat pump, matter of five, 10 minutes, and nice and warm in this unit. That way you don't have to turn on your furnace. Right, and that's standard whether you go <coughs> high country or just regular. Absolutely, the Montana has dual quiet cool in the front bedroom as well. Mm -hmm. The high country has a ducted 15,000 air in the front. So both units do have Oh, so you got 15, dual 15s. Okay. Dual 15s. Yeah. Everything we're talking about today, folks, is standard included in the high country right. and included in the Montana. Things customers hate is option, 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 option. Right, right. You know, it's like, you know, the, the airline ticket's 59 bucks, but by the time you pay your taxes and your seats, yeah. it's 350. Yeah, and the thing that I like about the 15K versus the 13.5 is you wouldn't think that that little difference makes a big difference, but it really does when it comes to cooling. So if that's big for you, once again, at four season camping, now, Montana's were rated zero to 110 <coughs> degrees, mm -hmm. you know, with the insulation. You got radiant foil barriers, astral foil barriers, heated tanks. I mean, it's it's crazy. But let the specialist guide you through where you're going to be camping and if you're going to need that upgrade between the 13.5 and the 15K because that could make or break really enjoying the camping experience. And also for the folks uh, in the north, we just had an article come out <laughs> a few months ago and Montana was rated the number one cold weather RV. Yeah. And they tested all. So also what you get with the high country as well too is you can get an 18 cubic foot residential refrigerator with an ice maker and water. Yes, I love this, <coughs> the little water dispenser on there. Water dispenser. Love that. You know, and also you can get it in an RV refrigerator as well too. Right, well yeah. that's the difference between the, the numbers, right? The odd numbers have the 280, ours is a 12 cubic foot RV, right. 281 has an 18 cubic foot residential. Same price for either. Right. Let's go up front. Yeah, let's, let's go check this out so before we have to <coughs> Head out of this one. So you got road vac. That's pretty standard. Big selling feature. I'm six foot six. Our ceilings are six foot eight, all the way to the front of the coach. Wow. This okay. unit here is 32 feet two inches. So to keep the length down, we did a double entry exit bathroom right. with a 36 inch one piece fiberglass shower radius. And we have that in three floor plans. All of our other floor plans in high country is a 30 inch by 48 inch one piece fiberglass right. single entry. With this is one of our three floor plans that gives you a front windshield as well also. I love the privacy glass, man. You talk <clears> about nice. waking up, you're like you pull this up to the beach or the mountains, 
and sunrise, sunsets, or just looking out and having that option. It's all about view. The number yes. one reason people buy the RV is because of the floor plan. Yeah. Floor plan and eye appeal. We talk about the six foot eight headroom where it's consistently straight. Right. Get in the mid profiles, they're shorter overall, and then when you get in about mid bed, it starts to slant. We call it the yeah. stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> All of our floor plans in the high country, except the 362 rear den, come with a king bed. You can yeah. also get a queen as well, too, and also the nice large storage yes. that you have underneath here. It's good here, for the golf bag. <laughs> here's your 25 foot expandable hose for your standard central vacuum. Also, here's your second 15,000 air. We're in Florida. Yeah. That is very that important. Handy. Because yeah. these ducts, you have a two inch by eight inch insulated ducting system that runs throughout the whole coach. And you so guys have those tough like joints <coughs> all the way around. Where they don't too, collapse. Right? Yeah. We have a patent pending um, divider where you, the ducts go together. That way they don't collapse. Because through the years, when you put your insulation up here, it had a tendency to collapse, collapse the ducts. That's that would be the ducks, D U C T S. Not, 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 the not U, ducks. U K S, yeah. I don't want. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need people I don't getting need confused. People. I exactly. mean, you know, granted, a webbed foot creature on top of my RV would be kind of nice, but. True. Yeah. Now, so that's the Montana High Country. Uh, and, and once again, you'd mentioned a lot of those <clears throat> kind of, um, you know, come standard. But the difference between High Country and <clears throat> Montana is. <clears throat> What? Now we get into Montana. High Country has electric auto leveling, yeah. four or six point, depending on the floor plan, mm -hmm. and it has all electric slide rooms. It's been that way since day one. Right. True Mon slides are awesome. Probably. Absolutely. Yeah. And again, it depends you know, on the electric slides. All the slides have individual buttons. Now on the Montana, it's been out for over 22 years. That's our flagship. Yeah. Okay. The Montana brand has been the number one selling fifth wheel since 2003. Wow. Okay. Because there's three guarantees of life, Chris. Yeah. We'll pass away, we'll pay taxes, and you'll see a Montana in a campground. <laughs> so when you go to the Montana, we start at 35 feet, and we go to 41 feet. Mm -hmm. Our weights, we start at 12,000 pounds, and we go to just shy of 15,000 pounds. Okay. This is not as weight sensitive as what the high country is. The buyer on the high country is a customer that maybe has had a travel trailer, whether it's a conventional build or a lightweight, a mid-profile travel trailer, mid-profile fifth wheel, right. and they can go right into the high, high country. country. Because people want more for their money than they ever have. Right. The buyer on a Montana is somebody that's probably been in a mid-profile travel trailer, mid-profile fifth wheel, right. or another high-profile fifth wheel. But our numbers have shown we have more repeat buyers than any other brand in the history of the RV business. So it's not uncommon for repeat buyers on Montana. We have right. people on their first, second, third, fourth, fifth. I had a gentleman a couple years ago in Ohio was on his 13th Montana. Wow. Buys one every year. Wow. Well, oh, okay. So the same thing is on the Montana and the high country. The Montana has more standard features. We're right. getting into six point hydraulic leveling. Right. Okay, versus four or six point. We're going standard 12 inch I-beam on the Montana. Mm -hmm. High country either has 10 inch I-beam or 12 inch I-beam based on the floor plan. Right. Montana standard 7,000 pound axles. High country has either 6,000 or 7,000 depending on the floor plan. Right. So there's not a lot of difference. Yeah. You know, the difference is standard, standard features. features. Yeah, so just a little bit of an, uh, I don't want to even <clears throat> really say upgrade because both of them are good options, but it would be a little bit of an upgrade. Sure, you got yeah. frameless windows right. on the Montana, standard windows on the high country. Right. Again, we have to keep that separation. Yeah. Now this one, this is a <clears throat> front bath and a half. Uh, this is what I like to call the uh, <clears throat> vacation palace because of that front <clears throat> bath. Which 39, 31 front bath and a half. We introduced this approximately five years ago. The first front bath and a half in the RV industry. Just like Montana introduced the first front living room in 2004. We also introduced the front first front rear, I'm sorry, the first rear den right. as well too. So Montana's a lot of first. So let's talk about what additional standard features you get in the Montana. Yep. <clears throat> we talked about the quiet, cool air conditioning mm -hmm. in the Montana. You have it in the family room and also in the bedroom. Right. Okay. Both units do have 30 inch residential microwaves. Mm -hmm. In the Montana, you get a convection in addition. 
Okay. Very nice little addition that you don't think you'd use, but you end up using that a whole lot more. It's a man's best hand. friend. It is. It really man's is. Man's best friend. Yeah. Just hit a button if you want to bake, broil, cook. Also, in your theater seats, the high country has a standard power theater seats. The mm -hmm. Montana gives you power, massage, heat, and also a light. Little LED lights. Underneath as yeah. well, too. And then depending on the length of the floor plan, you'll have a different armrest as yeah. well, too. Okay. Like now, the carpetless slides, too. The carpet in which we have Very in the high stuff. country, we've gone to the vinyl. Yeah. Carpet is a thing of the past. Yeah. Because of sand, dirt, pets. Also want to show you the pedestal free dinette table, which on the high country, you can get booth or freestanding table and chairs. Right. But this is a pedestal free. Okay. And this table moves in and out. Okay. And it lifts up for storage. Oh, right. The high on. country has a leaf as well. It pulls out the bottom and it works a little different than this here. Two hard chairs here. Two the other two folding chairs are either underneath the bed or in the front washer dryer closet, depending on the floor plan. We also have pop-up USB 110 outlets on the Montana, where on the high country they're stationary as well. Those pop-up power stations are fantastic. Also have them in the kitchen. Depending yeah. on the floor plan, you either have one or two there. In the Montana, you do have backlit crown molding here. Yeah. It can be a nice mood light at nighttime. Also in the Montana, we are wired and prepped for a third air conditioner. We also do op option it uh, at the manufacturer. It is a dump. Right. It is not connected in the ducting. It is a third AC dump. Sure. Okay. Your central vacuum in a Montana. They both, Montana and High Country, have the 25 foot expandable hose, but also in the Montana, you have the toe kick. Oh, where you nice. can sweep right into it. Yeah. And it just goes right into the collection point underneath. Right the into the collection point right underneath as well, too. Love it. Okay. Here's your half bath in the, the 3931 front bath. And one of the things that I think is awesome are these extra thick solid surface countertops that come standard in the Montanas. Residential, beautiful, easy to clean, allows us to have undermounted stainless steel sinks. Uh, the residential style cabinetry as well with the hideaway hinges. I always say this is a mark of good construction because if somebody's going to put this in their cabinets in an RV, they spent some time and effort to make yep. that right. We have uh, self-closing cabinet doors. Right. We also have self-closing drawers. That's one of the differences in the Montana and the high okay. country as well, too. In this floor plan here, your washer dryer closet is here in the, fam in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. However, Chris, do you realize only 4% of all RVers actually use a washer and dryer? I did. I mean, you would think that a lot of people would use it a lot more, but they just don't. Takes up space, space. adds weight, takes up a lot of water, and yep. for the money, a lot of campgrounds have very nice facilities to yep. use, and people can go a week, week and a half without doing laundry. Right. So in this floor plan, it gives you 26 inches of additional pantry storage in addition to the pantry and the slide room. I think a lot of it, too, is boiled <coughs> down to people realize that they don't need to take as much stuff with them as they think no. anymore. Because that that's one of the biggest misconceptions when you first buy an RV. Even something like this where, and you can speak to this probably better than I can, there used to be this stigma around RVs. Mm -hmm. you, you were going to give up something when you were headed out onto the road. Sure. You weren't going to have those creature comforts of home. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's going to be rickety, it's going to be rocky, it's going to be hot and dusty and windy. When you take a look at where we've progressed just over the last five years, there is so much opulence inside RVs now. Mm -hmm. And it's no wonder to me, well, the manufacturing, the construction that you guys have at Keystone, why the Montana is one of the best selling for 20 plus years now. Uh, Cause I mean, just take a look at, you even put the cover in the seams there, the <laughs> solid wood construction on the slides, love the backlight, you even put the little it's eye appeal. It's there. attention to detail at the Montana division. We put items in RVs that sell. We don't put right. the fluff in there that, yeah, maybe, maybe. I don't want to pay for it, but I do. But right. let's run up yeah, front let's real quick here. Because so, this so, is the front bath and a half. This is what really wows this floor this plan. King size bed. Kev, take a look at this. And then this is where, when I first <laughs> saw this, I was like, come on, man. Largest bathroom of any Montana floor plan. We have nice, large front wardrobe. In addition, the storage in the bedroom, double sink. Double vanity sink. A lot of people have these in your home. So 30-inch yeah. by 40-inch one-piece fiberglass shower. And also you have a nice sitting area right over here yep. with a window. That's beautiful. How many so, people growing up did we have windows in our bathroom? Yeah, 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 yeah. And nice, the full, high-profile fifth wheel. Mm -hmm. I'm six foot six. I can stand up. Right. 
it feels spacious, and it is spacious. We only get so many square feet in an RV to work with. Right. So that's really, if, if you're looking for the luxury, if you're looking for those standard features that you don't want to give up when you go take your RV, then you want to stick with the Keystone Montana or the Keystone Montana High Country. To, Chris, to be honest, besides you know some of the upgraded features, I don't really see that big of a difference on the insides between the Montana and Montana High Country. And I'm sure if I was towing, I would feel the difference. It's got a, it's got a rich look to it. Yeah. It does it's got a rich, but there is separation. We don't duplicate floor plans from high country to Montana. Right. And we want to keep that separation in, uh, in features and also price point. Right. We don't want to be right on top. Yeah. You're, you're, you're giving the working family an option to have a luxury fifth wheel with the high country. Sure. And, and, sure. and I love that. Yeah, we're in the meat of the market. We, yeah. we let the others dabble around in this price point. Our, your best sellers in any product yeah. is right here in the middle. Yeah. So this is a versus battle with Keystone. We're doing Montana versus Cougar. Chris, as always, it's fantastic. Now, uh, I am gonna have to put you on the spot. I know this isn't your wheelhouse. I know this is your internal competitor. Well, the nice thing is we are a one-two punch. Majority of the dealers that I am on, I have Cougar. We have a lot of Cougar buyers that do yeah. transition to the Montana, Montana high country. Yeah. Uh, either one. And again, it's a nice one-two punch. Yeah. Again, they offer a lot for their money as well, too. Mm -hmm. My job is to show so, you what we so have to offer for Montana, Montana, that's Montana right. High. So and I'll bite my lip. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Go ahead. And look, we, we, we have a good friend between us, Kevin Horky, who I know is, is, is biting his lip because he wished he could have been down there with us this week. But with the Cougars, the, really the difference between the two is with Montana, you're getting full profile, feature packed. RV fifth wheels. With the Cougars and the Cougar half tons, you're getting feature packed mid profile and half ton fifth wheels. What's the big difference? Well, it's pretty much you still get spacious floor plans, lots of storage, but they're on smaller frames, less weight, and you're able to tow with half ton trucks or if you're looking for that mid profile. Cougar is hitting yeah. a different price point, yeah. a different look, different floor yeah. plans, but it's different lengths and weights and price point at yeah. the end of the day. One thing you can see also on the Montana, Montana high country, notice how that front roof line continues straight. Mm -hmm. That's what gives you the full stand the full up profile. in the front area, whether, yeah. whether it's a family room or bedroom. And notice in the mid profiles, right. it does have a taper. Yeah. Again, that is to eliminate some weight as well also. Yeah, if you notice on the end, so this is one of the uh, Cougars uh, it's just one of the regular mid profiles. We'll show you the difference in the half ton, but you notice this has more of a kind of a boxy front end. The half tons have that even more reduced yeah. rounded edge. But when you go inside, I mean, even you still have the same heated pass through storage. You got the heating pads on the tanks and closed mm -hmm. underbellies, mm -hmm. leveling systems. Now, you had pointed out a great feature about the Montanas between the two, compare and contrast. If you take a look, the legs on the Montanas are on the outside of the frame. I like that. Seems like it's a little bit more stability. It's a little wider bit more stance. Strength. Yeah, wider mm -hmm. stance, a little bit of strength. But with, with Cougars, you, you're still not going to go wrong either way you go. It's really, what are you going to tow with? And if you're towing with a vehicle that you don't really have 100% confidence in what it can tow, it is easy to bring it to any camping world or any Gander RV and outdoors. They'll check it out for you. They'll tell you what you can tow, and they'll recommend what's going to be right for you. But when you walk inside, you're going to see what the comparisons between the Cougar and the Montanas, bright interiors, updated features. You get the same solid construction. Now these are rated zero to 100 degrees, where Montana's ratings are zero to 110. Both, I think, are still really good four season camping, but four season camping is different from Buffalo than it is from Mesa. Yeah, it depends on what depends people on where you're Yeah, going. People don't know yeah. what we know. I've had people ask, is it a four season coach? And I always ask the question, what do you mean by four season? Well, you know, in Fort Pierce, Florida, it gets down to 45 at night. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to be comfortable. Again, customers don't know what we know. And, and it's yeah. fair to ask those questions because yeah. we want to help the customers well, too. Yeah. But, you know, you, it, you're people that are single digits, zero, sub-zero, no RV is designed for extreme weather temperatures right. because you're exposed on all sides. That's just a very small percentage of our buyers. Well, and there's there's also, you know, people, well, well what is our value? Because a lot of manufacturers push that R value. And if, if you've ever put a pot on the stove, R value is pretty much the heat from there to the handle. It's so misconstrued yeah, the RV it's business. So misconstrued. I'm R one thousand. You could have eight foot walls in an RV. Yeah. But you lose your heat and your cool air through to your the windows. windows. Yeah. So. so it's one of those things where you if you do have questions, we have people standing by right now, which by the way I forgot to mention earlier, we got 
all, over 150 locations, people standing by to answer those questions about the differences between Cougar and Montana. And if you want to get a hold of us, just drop us a comment down below, RV or text RV to 46642. With over 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming, we will have some Montanas and Cougars that you can choose from. Just text FRESH to 46642 or text FRESH or just drop a comment down below, Fred. This is now, your mid bunk. This floor is the plan mid bunk right here. Three sixty eight MBS. The three sixty eight MBI. Um, oh, MBI. I really like this one because of the separation of space. Now, does Mon Montana's got a mid bunk? We have what we call in a high country. It's called the three eighty five bonus room. Right. Montana's thirty eight fifty five bonus room. The we BS. call it a bonus room. Yeah. Rather than mid bunk because there's some people that want a two bedroom but right. don't want a bunk house. Two family room don't want a bunk house. Mm -hmm. Outside kitchen don't want a bunk house. On a desk, don't want a bunkhouse. So if I right. call it a bunkhouse, then I lose half my clientele. Yeah. It's a bonus room. It is a bonus My room. wife and I, Chris, don't watch the same TV stations. Yeah. So she could watch in the fame room. Yeah. I could go over here in the bonus room and watch as well, too. Well, I'm at that point now where we have the kids. One's five or, or one's six, one, you know, one's 11. They're watching complete. They're already going off in different directions. And also. <laughs> they got to have that separate And room. also, if you have children that don't go with you anymore, maybe busy, or they're too good to go RVing, you know. Right. This still is a rear living floor plan at the end of the day. Yeah, and it, you still get that upgraded furniture. I mean, now you had talked about, uh, you know, massage and heat and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Well, with these Allure furniture pieces, yeah. you, you do get that in the recliners. You still get the pillow top. It's still upgraded residential furniture in mm -hmm. both brands. It's just the difference with like with the Cougars, this is mid profile. Mm -hmm. So you're not gonna have as much headroom, especially in the cap, which I can't mm -hmm. wait till we get Chris up in the cap <laughs> so you can see what it's like to be 6'6 inside of a mid profile. Uh, because that's gonna be that might be a game changer for you. And that's really yeah. gonna be one of the things I get you'd be surprised how many calls I get. I got a customer at six four. Right. Well, they're worried about staying in the shower. Well, I'm six six, so right. you know, by doing these videos right here with with people, it shows you that there is height. Yeah. You know, yeah. I know we try to hire short people to make our RVs look bigger. <laughs> yeah. That's why they wouldn't hire me for our little lightweight travel trailer right. division. See, and I'm six two. They're um, like, you fill up that trailer too much. Oh, I do. But look, and then with the, you know, with, with the mid profiles, now being six two, I'm still good up here. Uh, the kids would, would battle over this because with the mid bunk, you do get the additional loft bunk up here. Mm -hmm. um, still get the same residential style shower. In here with the solid surface, yeah. easy to clean. But yeah, come on, <laughs> come on, Lurch. <laughs> here, I'll sit down. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Now six two, um, and and I really want you to see the difference between uh, the Cougar half ton and the Cougar mid profile. This is the mid profile, and you're going to see with me being six two, even here at the end cap, I still got headroom. Sure. I'm still clear. Chris is six six. Six two, <laughs> six six. But are you, you grew since last time I saw you? Didn't I, you? I did a little bit. Yeah. Well, I got the, I so, got the, I got the. The great thing about the Cougar and the Montana is you chance. get what you pay for. You know, yeah. we all know it's been that way. It is and always will be. You do yeah. get what you pay for. But mm -hmm. it's a great one-two punch with the Cougar, yeah. and the Montana. And like I said, you can't go wrong either way. And we yeah. really complement each other. Well. Yeah, and and with the you know Cougars, you get the option of. I mean, you can have a fifth wheel that's under thirty feet, or you can go up sure. to forty feet. Absolutely. Um, and it's it's on a little bit of a lighter frame. Um, the floor plans are still spacious. Storage is still spacious. Uh, obviously, the storage is a little bit deeper in the Montanas because of that drop frame. They get to um, a certain length, and they're like, you know what? Let the Montana, the high country, take over from there. Yeah. You know, and they they uh, get involved in what's best for the Cougars. Right. You know, they hit a certain lengths they hit certain heights and also yeah weights but at the end of the day it's it's price point it is it is you price know? point but even with the price point you know sure. between a cougar and a high country you're looking at maybe 35 five thousand difference maybe Based, somewhere around depending there. on the floor not depending much on difference. The floor plan sure. yeah not much difference you're still getting good great features mm -hmm. true fit slides heated and closed underbellies um it's just smaller frames yeah a little bit smaller floor plans. Now, this is their regular mid profile. This is their half ton. So, mm -hmm. if you got a three quarter ton, good option there. If you got a half ton, good option here because the half tons are going to be even, you know, a little bit smaller than the regulars. And it just plays to what vehicle you have to tow. Mm -hmm. Look, you still get, look at all the storage that you have here. Now, you had mentioned you can't really put a cooler in there. I mean, I could probably get my cooler in there. I got that party bar, the Coleman party bar. I could get fit a 12 that in. pack in there. 12 pack. Cooler. <laughs> Easily get 12 pack. Yeah. A <laughs> couple cases in the Montana. Now, this floor plan, when we talk about half ton, you're going to see more north south beds. 
with yes. wardrobe slides in the bedroom. And then yep. what that does is that keeps a length down. Yeah. Okay. Not everybody needs a king bed. Mm -hmm. Not everybody needs a bed slide. You know, with bed slides, it does give you that front wardrobe. Right. With north-south beds, it does eliminate that. That, that. That's why they do put it out on the off-door yeah. side. Well, and the other thing you're going to notice, too, between... Look at the um, counter space. This is impressive. Yeah. This Well, this is that 30 RLS. This nice. is a great rear living floor plan for that couple that doesn't want to give as many features. But, yeah, you notice the countertops. We got those solid surface beautifuls in mm -hmm. there. These are those pressed countertops. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a little bit lighter, hence the half ton. So you are going to get a little bit there. But the hidden hinges. And a mid profile. That's that's awesome. Hey, they needed to come at the Montanas, and that's sure. was probably the best way to do it. You still get, now, even with this uh, half ton mid profile, with the height that we have, we still get good residential style mm -hmm. here. Um, lots of space for your storage inside the cabinetry. Uh, plenty of prep and countertop space. And with the opposing slides, you're going to get an island kitchen, mm -hmm. which to me, uh, that's another thing they didn't have, what, probably... Years ago, yeah, island, five, island, years ago right? yeah. and yeah. island, what islands did is this reinvented our floor plans for us. Mm -hmm. Because before the islands, your kit countertop was either there mm -hmm. or most of them were over here on the door side. When right. you had a slide on the door side, especially your kitchen, it eliminated your windows. Yeah. Now, one of the differences between... Cougar, Montana, and even between the Cougar half ton and the Cougar mid profiles, the ACs. What? So <laughs> I can't hear you. I mean, they're still quiet ACs. Oh. And you got the, you know, you got the quick cool dump mm -hmm. right there, but it's just not those those blade whisper quiets that you mm -hmm. guys have. You know, those Coleman mocks yeah. like you were talking about yeah, earlier. That's a nice open. system. That's a different version of the Coleman mock that yeah. they have. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, it's, it's still, look, for 15K, I mean, you're still getting a 15K that kicks out tremendous heat. The great, still, the great thing about Keystone is when we talk about this is the Montana has its own plant, production right. plant. The high country has its own production plant. Cougar, full-size fifth wheels, has its own production plant. Right. Cougar half-ton and trailers have their own plant. So right. our workers are familiar with how they operate. Right. So that being said is each plant uses its own standards yeah you know whether it's this version of the coleman mock that version of the graystone microwave etc right. so that's the great thing we don't share plants like a lot of other <clears throat> manufacturers do yeah and that allows you to kind of keep you know, we're talking about standard that, that allows you to keep it's cookie cutters yeah the consistency sure. going so when and chris had mentioned the true fit slides out there earlier uh, those are standard on pretty much all the Keystone, mm -hmm. Cougars, and Montanas. And what that is, is that's a slide that truly fits the opening, and it minimizes the use of components, moving the slides in and out, minimize the use of components, minimize the stuff that can break. That's to me, is a huge selling point. Because you don't, I got a Harley, but I knew I got a Harley, because when you get a Harley, you get a Harley to sure. work on a Harley. You don't mm -hmm. ride it, you work on it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do that with my RV. Yeah. So, uh, still get residential style, Electric Ele fireplaces. Electric fire, which most campgrounds you go to, your electrics include in your rent. Yeah. Burn their electric up. Yeah. Love it. Let's Absolutely. go take a look up here. Nice spacious now this, bathroom and bedroom. Now this is the uh this is the half ton. Yep. And Kev, I'm gonna step out the way so you can kind of see next. Chris is six six. Yep. Go ahead go ahead and walk and walk around over there, Chris. Let's yeah. see uh with the north south bed. There what it go. does okay, is, bonk. with the north-south bed, it does uh, keep your length down. Bonk. With a bed slide, it automatically adds 24 to 30 inches to a floor plan. Yeah. So, again, a, a bed slide's not for everybody. Mm -hmm. However, you also have your wardrobe which slides out on the off-door side as well, too. So you are getting your uh, additional storage up yeah. here that you would get in a uh, bed slide. But nice I, queen bed right here. I believe it's a 60 yep. by 80. Yep. Let me see here. It sure is. Yep, 60 and by 80. 60 by a 80. lot of RVs only have the 60 by 72. So I see here. Those camp queens. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I see now. But I, I wanted Chris to get in there so you could see this is a half ton. And we had talked about with those foot with those mid profiles, the front cap has a little bit more of a boxed edge on mm -hmm. it, like that. These these half tons, it does like this. Once again, because they're reducing the weight, mm -hmm. so you can hopefully pull it with a half-ton truck, but you're not really giving up any amenities. And you pick up some aerodynamics yeah. as well, too, less wind resistance. And to be honest, when you're camping, I'm okay with having to duck down if I have to, because I'm, I'm, I'm going to be camping in it. Sure. Um, 
We still get the option to put in additional ACs if you want it. That's why we, it's like in the automotive industry. That's why you have different size automobiles, just like yep. houses. That's why you have a ranch, yep. tri-level, a two-story. Residential style showers with the bench seat. You still get the undermounted sinks inside the bathroom, porcelain bowls. You got hyperdeck flooring, which is a, la which is a uh, laminated polypropylene fiberglass floor. Nice thing on this floor plan here, like the Montana and the high country, yep. you have an air conditioning duct and a heat duct Inside, in the bathroom. Because the bathroom. when that door is shut, you don't want it too cold or yeah. too hard. That's a great point. And again, it's, it's attention to detail it is. at Keystone RV. The RV industry is 30 to 40 years behind yep. the automotive industry as far as technology. Yeah. But Keystone is very innovative on what we put in our RVs. We just don't, yeah. our suppliers come to us on a daily basis and they're just like, you know, here's what I got. Yep. You know, we engineer it. We just don't grab it and run with right. it. Right. Well, I mean, you guys have been innovators of the space from everything from the half ton mid profile all the way up to the full profile and, and the high country. You guys have been innovators, which is why mm -hmm. Keystone in both brands is one of the top selling for the last almost 20 years running. Well, the Cougar's been the number one selling uh, mid profile fifth wheel for years and years, well yeah. over 10 years. Yeah. So you still get great quality construction. You still get great quality features. Mm -hmm. you, you get things that you won't get on other uh, fifth wheels, like the heated and closed underbelly, yeah. the 12 volt pads on the tanks, the porcelain bowls, the solid surface countertops, the hyperdeck <laughs> flooring, the whisper quiet ACs. Yeah. You get standard features in both that are going to make you happy that when you get it, you say, this is a good investment for camping and enjoying and getting time with my family. And at the end of the day, that's, that's really what it's about. So you can't go wrong either way you go. Three quarter or full ton truck, and you want the full profile, Montana is the way to go. The only difference Absolutely between a three quarter and one ton truck is the amount of payload rating. Yeah. A properly equipped three quarter truck can tow and haul the same as one ton. It's just basically how it's set up. Mm -hmm. But again, you'll want to get with your salespeople at, yep. the, at the automotive dealership where you bought it or even at the RV dealership. We want to make sure that you have the right yep. vehicle. We don't want to put you out on the road and say, yeah, it'll work and good luck and send you on your way. Yeah. It, it, yeah. We, don't, we don't want to work that no. way. There, there are a lot of RV dealers that'll just put you in a fifth wheel just because you know the, they, they want to sell it. They'll tell you wheel. what you want to hear. Yeah. But with, with us, with Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors, you can bring your vehicle in. It's easy and it's free. They'll check it and they'll test it for you and say, hey, here's, okay, so tow rating, stop rating is really, you know, because you can tow mm -hmm. whatever you want. It's when you want to stop it. <laughs> that yeah. that kind of is the big player there. Sure. So let them walk you through that process. But if you have any questions about the Keystone Montanas, the High Countries, or the Cougar Half Tons, or the Cougar Mid Profiles, just text RV to 46642. Drop me a comment down below, RV. But regardless of what you were looking at, hopefully this kind of helps get you off the fence of am I going to get a Montana or am I going to get a Cougar? Because you can't go wrong in either way. It's, it's a one-two punch. Yeah. Can't go wrong. Best one-two punch. You just got to find a floor plan yeah. that fits mm -hmm. you. Floor plan, I appeal, and then whatever price point you feel comfortable. We want to say hi to Kevin. It's awful nippy up north. Yeah. So we want to say hi to Kevin. Yeah, Kevin, by the way, when we get done, so, we're going golfing. We got a tea time here. Yeah, we got to yeah, go. we do. All right, Ultimate RV Show is going to continue next. For Chris Stender, I'm Chris Young. Thank you for watching the Keystone versus Battle. We'll see you back here in a little bit. We want something newer and a better fit for our lifestyle. We got solar and satellite internet. We have five boys and we live full time in our RV. We work out of our RV every single day and so having it be white and bright makes it feel a million times bigger. It's an amazing feeling that you can't replace. Honestly, we now feel like we're really home. Discover your home away from home at Camping World. Ultimate RV Show National Tour. What's up? It's Chris Young. You know, one of the great things about Camping World, Gander RV and Outdoors, and our 2 million Good Sam members. 2 million? Over 2 million, million Good Sam members. They understand what Good Sam Roadside is. But a lot of people don't, but you guys absolutely do. We're part of the 2 million. We're yeah, part absolutely. of the 2 mil, yeah. yeah. <laughs> First thing we did when we got our RV, we got the Good Sam membership. Because well, we bought yeah. a little bit of an older rig. We got right. the 2000 Damon Intruder, 36 foot. Okay. And we had a little bit of anxiety, like, hey, what if something happens? Right. We're on the road. We got all of our, our entire lives in the, in the RV. Yeah. You know, what happens if we need a tow? Yeah, and I think the thing that sold us was the unlimited miles of towing capability. And we're yes. like, 
that is insane. Normally, yeah. even just with our regular insurance with our town cards, like, oh, you get five miles. Yeah. This is five miles, five miles. 500 miles. Yeah, That's doesn't matter. Insane. Unlimited distance towing. And you guys even had a roadside experience happen, didn't we you? We did. We yeah. did, yeah. Our battery died, and so we called up Good Sam. They were there in 20 minutes, replaced the battery, gave us a discount. We were on our merry way in like a half hour. Well, you know, a lot of people think, okay, well, that's cool for your RV, but the Good Sam Roadside also extends to your vehicles as well. And that's crazy. one membership covers everybody, spouse, kids, you know, the whole nine, and it extends to your vehicles. I had the same thing happen. My wife, whom I love, <laughs> not my fault, Tiff, not my fault. I know, <laughs> like, I know. Don't you worry. I got my, <laughs> I will. Go. Okay, let's just, one of us locked the keys in the car <laughs> oh. at a shopping center, and I called Good Sam. <laughs> I was on the phone with him in a matter of minutes. Literally 20 minutes later, really? somebody was there to get it out, get the keys out. I was back on my way, no damage to the car. And it's incredible. It is incredible. So it's a good, it's an excellent plan. And the unlimited distance towing is really a huge key component of it. But here's the deal. During the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, plans are 50% off for new members. That's, That's and, huge. And it's already that? a very low price. It's so already it's, extremely it's, low price. That is a really deal really. of a deal. It is. So if I want to get it, what do I got to text? You got to text or comment ROAD, R-O-A-D, to 95867 to get that deal. Yeah, or just drop us a comment down below ROAD. Trust me, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And Ooh. Good Sam is worth way more than that. So get your Good Sam roadside assistance today. More of the Ultimate RV Show National Tour right now. My name's Dan McKenzie, this is my wife, Lindsay. We're full-time RVers, we're in Breckenridge, Colorado, doing some winter camping. First five years of our marriage, we just traveled as much as we could. When we traveled, I just felt alive. I couldn't find that same feeling in anything else that I did. And we were in a small mountain town in North Carolina and it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. We were having an amazing weekend together and she just looked at me and she said, I don't want to go back. We have to figure out a way to make this something we can do. What if we could travel full time, take our house with us, take, take our, our dogs, dogs with us. But even when she said it, that seemed crazy. We started realizing that there was actually a community out there of other people from all different walks of life, all different yeah. age groups that were doing it. And then we just kind of said we're doing it. We had done so much international travel, we had kind of neglected America. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so once we started exploring America, we just fell in love. We have found a whole new happiness that I never knew we could find. Yeah. Every place offers something different and unique and we literally fall in love with every place we go because there's just different culture and different um, attractions that we can check out. We really enjoy going to breweries at every place that we go. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one of our favorite pastimes. We love, you know, checking out the dog parks and taking our dogs on hikes. Ice uh, fish. Ice fish, yeah. We're, we're going to try. Yeah, nice. <laughs> that's another thing about RVing and the lifestyle is that you don't have to have a plan. Yeah. Like a lot of RVers you talk to, they'll, you ask, where are you going next? And everyone's like, I don't know, we might go here, we might go there. You can chase the weather and enjoy the seasons in the summer, or you know you can do winter camping. Coming back to Colorado in the winter is an awesome opportunity for us. Parks that we like to visit actually have less people during the winter. And then when we get really cold and we're tired of the snow, we can just head out, head out. and go chase a little bit warmer weather. I think the thing that probably surprised us the most about RVing was the community. But through the internet and through social media, I can't even believe how many friends that we've made and all the connections and the community that's out there that supports you. It's pretty incredible. It's so nice just to be around like-minded people and the friendships that we're building are lifelong friendships because we just share this unique bond. We call it our RV family because that's exactly what it feels like. The first risk that, like big risk that we took in our lives that led to a lot of other cool, exciting risks that we're taking now. We literally have a home on wheels, a traveling home. We don't live out of a suitcase like we used to when we would travel and take road trips. We've got everything with us and home really is where you park it. <laughs> and we just feel like we have the 
best of both worlds, really, our adventure lifestyle, but also the comforts of home.